Hello beautiful listeners. Welcome once again to our online reading session. I'm your girl, our Cham, and today I will be your reader. The book that I'll be sharing with you guys today is titled Come On Rain. And this little girl is at the center of the story. Her name is Tessie. You can see on the cover photo she is holding onto an umbrella. What are some of the things that you use to use an umbrella for? The book is written by Karen Hess, a picture by John J. Muth. I hope you're all staying safe and practicing all the safety measures at home during this era of COVID-19. Let's get into the book and as we read along, we will get to find out what Tessie is yearning for. Uh oh. As it seems, Tessie has lost her umbrella. Have you ever been in this situation before? How did it make you feel? Were you angry, sad? Especially if it was raining, did you get soaking wet? Now we're about to begin the story. Come on, rain. I say, squinting into the endless heat. Mama lifts a listless vine and sighs. <sighs> Three weeks and not a drop, she says, sagging over her patched plants. So this is Tessie right here. She's standing and squinting at the sky, anticipating for something to happen. And then here you can see Tessie's mom tending to her garden and because there's no water, the plants are dying. The sound of a heavy truck rumbles past. Uneasy, Mama looks over to me. Is that thunder, Tessie? She asks. Mama hates thunder. I climb up the steps for a better look. It's just a truck, Mama, I say. I am sizzling like a hot potato. I ask Mama, may I put on my bathing suit? Absolutely not, Mama says, frowning under her straw hat. You will burn all day out in the sun. Up and down the block, cats pant. Heat wivers off tap patches in the brawling alleyway. Miss Grace and Miss Vera bend tending beds of drooping lupines. Not a sign of my friends, Liz or Rosemary. Not a peep from my pal, Jackie Joyce. I stare out over rooftops, past chimneys, into the way of distance. And that's when I see it coming, clouds rolling in, gray clouds bunched and bulging under a purple sky. A creeper of hope circles round my bones. Come on, rain, I whisper quietly. While Mama weeds, I cross the crackling dry path past Miss Glick's window, glancing inside as I hurry by. Miss Glick's needle slicks on her phonograph playing the same notes over and over in the dim, stuffy cave of her room. So as you can see from the pictures in this book, uh, this is Tessie running over to her friend Jackie Joy's house. And as she did that, she passed by Miss Glick's house and then peeps through the window. This is a call a phonograph. It is an instrument that was used in the olden days to listen to music with. What are some of the things that you use to listen to music with at home? Do you use a computer? Do you use your iPods or iPhones? Uh, do you use uh, other means of listening to music? What are the means that you use? The smell of hot tar and garbage bullies the air. As I climb the steps to Jackie Joyce's porch. Jackie Joyce, I breathe pressing my nose against her screen. Jackie Joyce comes to the door, 
had long legs like two brown string beans, sprout from her shorts. It's going to rain, I whisper. Put on your suit and come straight over. Slick with sweat, I run back home and slip up the steps past Mama. She is nearly senseless in the sizzling heat kneeling over the hot rump of a melon. So there's Tessie right here with Jackie Joyce and they're talking about uh, the weather and how it's going to rain. And then Tessie convinces Jackie Joyce to wear her suit and then come over to her house. As she did that, she ran back home and passed by her mom who is uh, leaning over her melon. In the kitchen, I pour iced tea to the top of a tall glass. I aim a spoonful of sugar into my mouth, then a second into the drink. Got you some tea, Mama, I say, pulling her inside the house. Mama slings into a kitchen chair and sweeps off her hat. Sweat trickles down her neck and wets the front of her dress and under her arms. Mama presses the ice chilled glass against her skin. Aren't you something, Tessie, she says. I nod smartly. Rain's coming, Mama, I say. Mama turns to the window and sniffs. It's about time, she murmurs. So as you, you can see, she decided to make iced tea and then hand it to her mom in order to cool her down, giving the weather. After she gave that to her mom, the mom was very appreciative of it and she decided to say, aren't you something? What are some of the things that you do at home to help your parents? Do you wait for them to ask you to do stuff or do you just go out of your way and make them something special? And if you do that, how does it make you feel? Jackie Joyce, in her bathing suit, knocks at the door and I let her in. Jackie Joyce has her suit on, Mama, I say. May I wear mine too? I hold my breath, waiting. A breeze blows the teen curtains into the kitchen, then sucks them back against the screen again. Is there thunder? Mama asks. No thunder, I say. Is there lightning? Mama asks. No lightning, Jackie Joyce says. You stay where I can find you, Mama says. We will, I say. Go on then, Mama says, lifting the glass to her lips to take a sip. Come on, rain, I cheer, peeling out my clothes and in to my suit while Jackie Joyce runs to get Liz and Rosemary. We meet in the alleyway. All the insects have gone still. Trees sow under a swollen sky. The wind grows bold and bolder. And just like that, rain comes. So finally, what Tessie has been anticipating for all along has finally came. And as you can see, she's very excited with her friends right here. There are big drops of rainwater right here. They're all excited and in the rain enjoying themselves. The drops pulp down big, making dust dance all around us. Have you ever been in situations where you played in the rain? Uh, as a child, I remember I used to enjoy those moments to just be free in the water, have fun with my friends and enjoy ourselves. And when the rainwater ends, we go back indoors, uh, get comfortable and warm clothes and snuggle. Then a deeper gray descends and the air cools 
and the clouds burst. And suddenly, rain is everywhere. Come on, rain, we shout. It streams through our hair and down our backs. It freckles our feet, glazes our toes. We turn in circles, glistening in our rain skin. Our mouths wide, we gulp down rain. Jackie Joyce chases Rosemary, who chases Liz, who chases me. Wet slicking our arms and legs, we splash up the block, squealing and whooping in the streaming rain. This is Tessie right here, and she is being chased. And then all of our friends are here chasing one another as well. We make such a racket. Miss Glicks rushes out to out on her perch. Miss Gray's and Miss Vera came next, and then comes Mama. They run from their kitchens and skid to a stop. Leaning over their rails, they turn to each other. A smile spreads from porch to porch, and with a wordless nod. First one, then all. So these are the parents of the kids. All of them decided to rush out on their balconies when they hear so much noise was being made by the kids as they were worried that something bad might have happened to them. And so when they came out and saw that the kids were just excited and happy and having lots of fun, they all looked at each other and smiled at one another. And the next thing they did was something else. Fling of their shoes, skim of their hoes, tossing streamers of stockings, over their shoulders. Our bare-legged mamas danced down the steps and joined us in the fresh, clean rain. While the music from Ms. Glick's phonograph shimmers and sparkles and streaks like night lightning. Jackie Joyce, Liz, Rosemary and I, we grabbed the hands of our mamas we twirl and sew at them, tromping through puddles, rumping and reeling in the moisty green air. We swing our wet and wild-haired mamas till we are all laughing on the trinkets of silver rain. So as you notice in the former page, the parents decided to join their daughters under the rain. And they all remove all of their sockings and then dance with their kids under the rain as the rain washes over them and the cool breeze makes their bodies really warm. And they had fun. Well, have you been in situations where your parents joined you uh, in your day-to-day -day activities while having fun with your fellow uh, friends? This is something that all children look forward to and anticipate. It is uh, a moment that is of joy and love. And I'm so excited that uh, Tessie and her friends were able to enjoy this wonderful moment under the rain with their parents. I hug mama hard and she hugs me back. The rain has made us new. As the clouds move off, I trace the drips of mama's face. Everywhere, everyone, everything. Is misty limbs springing back to life. We sure did get a soaking, Mama, I say. And we head home, purely suited, fresh as dew, turning toward the first sweet rays of the sun. That's the end of the story. I hope you all enjoyed it. And that if you have opportunities to spend this time with your friends under the rain, and even invite your parents to join in on it, you will do so. Because I remember as a kid, those were moments that I always look forward to, not necessarily with my parents, but with my siblings and with my friends. So uh, the virtue card that we'll be sharing with you guys today is enthusiasm. As you heard me share the story, you will know that it began with uh, Tessie anticipating for something and looking forward to something happening. 
and that was rain. The weather was very hot and her mom was dying of heat. And then all of her plants that were also dying because they didn't have enough water. And then so uh, Tessie anticipated for the rain to come so that the weather will cool down and her mom's plants will have enough water to be rejuvenated. And so uh, she anticipated for all of those things with patience. She was really patient about it. She was hopeful that the rain will eventually come and that the things that she was yearning for would eventually happen for her and her mother. And she got that opportunity. She was able to play under the rain, have fun with her friends and her mother and uh, her friend's mother as well. So uh, the first thing that I will do is to read a proverb uh, under enthusiasm. And then I will uh, give the definition of what enthusiasm means. Then I will read the practices that you can do or that when you do them, you're practicing enthusiasm. So here goes. The proverb, proverb reads, If you give to charity, give without grudging. If you are a leader, lead with enthusiasm. If you help others in distress, do it cheerfully. And the proverb is Romans 12, 8. Then we go into the meaning of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm means God within. It is being filled with spirit. Enthusiasm is being cheerful and happy. It is doing something wholeheartedly with zeal and eagerness giving 100% to what you do, holding nothing back. Being enthusiastic is being excited about something, looking forward to it. It comes from having a positive attitude. You enjoy yourself. With enthusiasm, even the dullest job can be fun. So that just goes to tell you that Tess's anticipation really paid off because she anticipated for the rain with enthusiasm and she was positive throughout. And that when it finally came, she was really happy and she had a lot of fun with her friends. So the practices of enthusiasm. I enjoy looking forward to things. I think of imaginative ways to get things done. I do things wholeheartedly. I smile, laugh, and enjoy what I do. I enjoy the wonders of life. So when you do all of these things, uh, when you act on all of these things that I've read, then you are an enthusiastic person and that you have a positive outlook to life and everything that you do. So it's something that we really all should try to embody and use in our daily life activities. It will be very helpful because all of the things that we stress about, uh, worry about, if we just have a positive outlook to them, then it wouldn't be something so much uh, it wouldn't be so, so much of a burden to us and at the end of the day we will come out smiling and happy and fulfilled so i hope uh, that you guys practice these things and that don't forget to subscribe right below and uh, like the videos as well it will mean so much to us thank you so much for being with us and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day until next time, bye.